Hey there, Mary Horsman with Cooperative Capitalism. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, doing a quick review of this morning's MLSP wake up call with Jamie Soriano today we had on the line and tremendous leader and always packs in the value. And today was no different. Today, Jamie uh, started by reminding us that adversity is all part of becoming a leader. So, and the more I think about it, you know, if there's adversity, that means you're doing something, that something's going on. So right away, that's a good sign because if you've got action, you're making progress. So um, <clears throat> he encouraged us to actually embrace adversity and, you know, take it as part of the journey. So after that, he proceeded to um, lay out eight steps to becoming successful and building a strong business. So here they are. I'm going to run down them for you. Um, one is total commitment to um, <clears throat> what you're working on. So it's the first step to greatness and you can't be wishy-washy or half in, half out. You've really got to be dedicated. So totally commit. The second is to develop a positive mental attitude. And, you know, it might sound cliche, but it's actually vital to to making it happen. So put in the time, surround yourself with positive people, um, audios, trainings, anything you can get your hands on to get you in that mindset, it's well worth the effort. Uh, <clears throat> number three is get your priorities straight. You want to really know that what matters most is where you need to focus your energy. So um, Jamie actually had one man a long time ago give him the advice. He said, I'm going to give you the secret. Um, take care of your personal life and your business will take care of itself. So no matter what tasks you might have on your to-do list, you really want to keep focused on your priorities and where you really need to make sure you're taking care of business, so to speak. So number four is to know where you're going. Um, and this comes along with setting goals. Uh, you know, you want your long range, your shorter term, and even your daily goals. I find that personally recently to be what matters a lot because if I'm not clear in the morning on what I'm getting done today, then I might, you know, get a little sidetracked and then find myself going to bed not having accomplished what I need to, to get me to my longer term goals. So goals and knowing where it is you're going is very, very important. If you don't know where you're going, chances are you're not going to get there. Uh, number five, don't be afraid to fail because fear is actually probably one of the major causes of failure. <laughs> and so if you overcome your fear, you're a lot more likely to just go ahead and take the steps you need to take to to make headway. And I've been thinking lately how much it's important to really analyze what it is we're afraid of. In network marketing especially, it seems like picking up the phone becomes this big deal and, uh, oh no, I can't do it. But, you know, just really try and figure out what is it exactly that's got you um, stopped. Because if you can recognize the fact that probably the worst that happens is somebody, you know, gives you a bit of a hard time or, oh, they hang up on you or however, if they're being rude enough, you hang up on them. It's not the end of the world. The, the world is full of people. There's lots of fish in the sea. And really, I just want to get across the point that there's nothing I don't think to really be afraid of when picking up the phone to really make a new friend. That is where it's at. It's all about relationship building and there's a lot of nice people and you know just think of it that way that there's nothing to be afraid of it's worth just giving it a go and nothing bad will really happen so that's my little take on that one uh, number six you've got to be willing to pay the price uh, you can't expect that you're just going to get rich without doing anything so know that there is a price to pay for getting ahead, so to speak, and getting that financial freedom that you're after and be willing to pay it because that's going to really make a difference. Uh, number seven, always move forward. Don't find yourself getting stuck in the stuck mode. So keep taking steps, even if they're baby steps, even if you realize that what you did yesterday needs to be tweaked or even totally redone. That's okay. At least you're taking steps and you're moving forward. 
And number eight, never give up. And it kind of would seem to go without saying, but it's amazing, I bet, how many people put in a lot of effort, they invest time and money, and are really getting close to seeing the results thereafter, but just say, oh, I'm sick of it, and you know, it would have happened by now, and that isn't necessarily the case. Never give up, and if you do stick with what you're doing, you are going to come across the, the right people that are willing to work with you and give you the next step, and you're gonna come across that, that change that's gonna make all the difference. So you don't know what tomorrow brings until you, you know, get there. So stick with it one day at a time and, and never give up. So, you know, remind yourself, I'm gonna be here next year, but I'm gonna be in a different position then because I'm going to have progressed on my journey all those days between here and there. So I hope that was uh, some good stuff for you there. Again, thank you to Jamie for sharing all that. And uh, please click the link below to find out more about MLSP and all the good stuff that's waiting there for you. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.